What's up everybody, this is Bill with BP Automotive and today we got another tech tip. A lot of times customers will disassemble their coil brackets and their coils and the coil harnesses, clean them up, re-tape them, paint them, make them look real nice because a lot of times the used ones, well, they just don't look the greatest. Well, when they go to put it back together, they'll accidentally put the coil harness on backwards and then when they start it up, well, it's going to sound like it has a misfire or that it's out of time. So today we're going to go over how to install your coil harness to make sure that it is on properly and ready to roll. With that said, let's get into it. So we've got a set of coil brackets, coils and coil harnesses right here. One set is fully assembled. This other set is partially assembled. I just went ahead and attached the connector and then, and then strapped the harness to the bracket. Uh, left the connectors out of the coils themselves. Right here is an original factory harness. Uh, you'll see, and we got all four coil connectors here. Each coil connector will have four wires. Every coil connector will have a black, a brown, and a pink. This is your ground, your low reference, and your Swiss ignition. And your trigger wire will be the one odd color at each connector. So at this one, you'll see a purple wire. You'll see this is light blue. Now it'll look green up through here, just because the wire is old. When you get down to close to the connector, you'll see that it's light blue, and you got a dark green and then a red. Um, so how these go is when you're looking at these coil harnesses, red always goes on the right. So the way these coil harnesses are taped together and assembled, you can't you can't install them in the incorrect order. You can only flip it and put it in the wrong orientation. Most of the connectors will not reach if you're trying to connect them out of order. You can only flip it. So red will always be on your right. So on your driver's side, this is on your driver's side of the engine, you know that purple will be at cylinder number one, which is the very front cylinder on your driver's side. So it will be purple, light blue, and then green, and then red. Now, the easy way to remember this is red always goes on the right, and uh, green and red are Christmas colors. Nobody's walking out on this fun old fashioned family Christmas. No, no. Just the easy way that I remember it, so that you always know that, that your red is on the right and that the red and greens will be uh, together, and then you know that purple and blue will always be together on that end. So red will always be on the right. So on the driver's side, you'll see that these will go like this and the purple wire will be at cylinder number one. And then there's just purple, blue, green, red. And then on the passenger side, it'll be exactly opposite. And you'll have your red up front at cylinder number two. And then it's supposed to be red, green, light blue, and then purple. Um, and they're, they're basically identical. So where some customers mess up is they'll assume that one needs to be opposite of the other and they'll make it opposite. And then when they have problems and they, they have you know misfire or it sounds like it's out of time, they'll just flop one bracket to the other side and then it still sounds the same. So just remember that they will be installed the exact same. You would just put them on the corresponding side and then you're done. It, it, they can be flip flopped. It doesn't have to go to a certain side, okay? Red on the right, and from red, it's red, green, light blue, purple. Thank you for watching. Follow us for more tech, tips, tricks, and behind the scenes videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, so you don't miss a single video. With that said, we'll see you in the next one.